minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. It's one alpha. <laughs> Copy one alpha. Together we expand what is possible in low Earth orbit. Add Astra and Godspeed AX2. V plus 30 seconds into this historic. V plus 36 seconds into flight. A great view of Falcon 9 heading to space. Power telemetry is nominal. A Stage great one call. throttle down. Power telemetry nominal. We're into the throttle bucket. Is the first stage is throttle down power on the Merlin engines in preparation for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Faster than the speed of sound as we're getting great views from the first stage camera looking back at Kennedy Space Center Complex 39A. Stage one throttle up. Max Q. We're out of the throttle bucket. Stage one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. We're at full power and that call on one Bravo, that's another one of those abort modes. As we get higher and faster, the logic for Dragon, should a contingency occur, changes from stage to stage. Impact chill is underway. Uh, the shadow of the contrail against the cloud deck around Florida. Now we're coming up, three big sequences and a view Live of the crew inside Dragon. They're getting ready. We're going to get three events here. Main engine cutoff, stage Stage one down. And then we're going to light the second stage engine. We've heard the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. Eco. Two alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. Stage one, boost back start up. All right, stage separation. We've lit the second stage engine. The first stage is into the boost back burn, working its way back towards Cape Canaveral. Views on the left side. That's the first stage. Engine's running as we come back to the launch site or the landing site. Second stage engine nozzle is visible on the right side as we're powering the Axiom 2 crew into low Earth orbit on the way to the International Space Station. Stage one, boost back, shut down. Right on time. First stage completed the first of three burns, heading back to the landing site. Second stage continuing on power and on trajectory. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We head northeast, the Bermuda ground station. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Bermuda is listening into the vehicle Copy. now. Nominal trajectory. And the crew hears the call out of a nominal trajectory. So four minutes into flight, everything continuing to go well, first stage heading back, and there's the crew on the second stage getting the ride into orbit to the space station. It's now beginning to orient itself so that the engines are pointed down towards the land as we will be descending towards landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. The four titanium grid fins have all deployed. They'll help guide the... They'll guide the first stage through the, once we get into the atmosphere, following the entry burn, which will be coming up here in another couple of minutes. On the right-hand side, the second stage with the Dragon capsule on top, heading up the eastern seaboard of the U.S. We've just heard the call out of Boston. That's the New Hampshire tracking station has picked up the signal. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. GNC continuing to make those call-outs that we want to hear. Everything Projecting continuing nominal. to look good. And the crew echoing them right back down. Good comms with the crew. We've been able to bring some uh, live video shots from inside the capsule as they're headed to space. And there's another view of the crew. Stage one, entry burn, start up. And there we heard that the startup burn for that stage one booster, you can see it there on the left-hand side of your screen, has now begun. Stage one entry burn shutdown. 
and conclusion of that entry burn, that burn helps to uh, slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The first, day, the first stage sees high drag, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time Dragon, that that landed. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out. Everything nominal trajectory. Beautiful view of planet Earth coming to us from the second stage views on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, our first view of the Space Coast once again. This booster is attempting a landing at LZ-1. Stage 1, transonic. That booster is now traveling near the speed of sound. Stage 1, landing burn. Stage 2, FTS has saved. Standing by to... Stage one landing leg deploy. There you stage can... Stage one landing confirmed. You can see that first stage has landed back at LZ-1. This is the first time that we have performed a land landing on a crew mission. Coming up... Coming up next will be second engine cutoff, or SECO, and that's where after, after that engine cuts off, second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to Stage separate. two is in terminal guidance. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Commander Peggy Woodson continuing to call out the abort modes. SECO. All right, on time shutdown of that second engine. Also confirming that the launch escape system is now disarmed. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there's that call out. We can confirm good orbital insertion. Copy, nominal insertion. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system disarmed. We can see the crew playing with their Dragon harnesses. Copy. Now that they are in zero G, which I think we just got a view of our zero G stuffy. <laughs> Clearly the crew is having fun already. <clears throat> right after liftoff, I think we heard a laugh coming from Commander Peggy Whitson, which being a NASA legend and one of the most decorated astronauts of all time, uh, it's amazing to hear that even a space veteran as she still has fun at liftoff. <laughs> 